Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. It's Friday, it's Zerda, you already know what that means. Zerda is somewhere in the tower behind me right now. And I'm here to tell you guys what he's got for sale and whether or not those items are worth purchasing. Plus, stat rolls are back this week. I didn't have them last week because I was super busy and I had to make a really quick video. But this week they are back, so everything is back to normal. But let's get started. And when I say back to normal, it means he's probably also got some rubbish stock. So, while it's not necessarily a terrible week when you compare it to, say, last week when he was selling nothing but brand new items, it's not really quite as good. Either way, with that being said, Titans, you have the Helm of Inmost Light. The perks on this one will give you Death from Above and Headstrong for your Striker subclass. You'll also gain Super Energy on Grenade Kills, and you gain Bonus Melee Energy on all pickups. Now, this one has an Intellect Roll of 77 when maxed. And comparing that to the min max values, the lowest you will ever see this is with 35 intellect and the highest is 95. So this is at the higher end of the spectrum, while still not the highest. Moving on from there, for the hunters you have the Celestial Nighthawk. This is still a good helmet, while it might not necessarily be something you're using right now, especially if like me you're a Night Stalker, it is still one worth having in your collection if you do not have it. The main perk is that your golden gun fires one shot with 6 times damage, whilst granting keyhole for over penetration. It's really really good, I put up a video about this ages back. It can down Crojo in one, although Crojo is kind of irrelevant now, but it's also useful for taking out things like Ultras and Majors anyway. On top of that, you can also gain bonus super energy on grenade kills, and you can replenish your health when you pick up an Orb of Light. The stat roll on this one is 46 intellect and 51 strength when max, but comparing that to the min max values, the lowest you will ever see this is with 35 intellect and 35 strength, and the highest is 95 intellect and 60 strength. So on the strength roll it's actually pretty high, but on the intellect roll it's only about mid. Then finally, moving over to the Warlocks, this is of course another new Taken King item, this is the Impossible Machines. Exotic Gauntlets, and the main perk for this one is that it grants landfall, plus on top of that you get increased melee attack speed and you also get increased reload speed with Scout Rifles. Do bear in mind that final perk on all those armor pieces can of course change if you do use Glass Needles, but that is what you get. Of course the stat roll on this one is 43 Intellect and 44 Strength when maxed, and again comparing that to the max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 31 Intellect and 31 Strength, and the highest is 53 Intellect and 84 Strength. So again on this one, on the Intellect side of things, it's actually relatively high, whereas on the Strength side of things, it's only around middle. Then moving over, this week there is no weapon, instead you have an Exotic Engram, this is a Helmet Engram, and of course if you buy this, you do get a chance at new Exotic Taken King items. Do bear in mind, if you are above 300 Light and you are the same class as the item that drops, there is a high chance it will drop at 310. So in other words, what I mean by that is if I am a Hunter and I have above 300 Light and I decode a Hunter item, chances are that item will be 310, which means it's great for Infusion if you guys are trying to say bump up your Raid Helmets, then that is a really good thing to do. Of course if it drops for the Titan or the Warlock, then chance to it will drop around 280 to 90, but regardless, if you've got some coins to burn and you're looking to try and bump up your light, then this is a good tactic to do. Again, as I always say, leave this engram behind. This is of course a legacy engram, so it only contains year one items. Of course, if you are trying to complete your collection, then by all means be my guest. This is a primary one this week. So of course, this will give you access to things like say Bad Juju, Thorn, and some of the other primary things as well. But again, it is 31 strange coins and it's not really gonna further your light. On top of that, your Curios, of course you have your Emerald Coil and your Stealth Drive. You then have Heavy Ammo Synth, three of coins, and also some Glass Needles. And then lastly, of course, you do have your Mote of Light. And that's it. That is everything you need to know about Zer this week. Of course, bear in mind one kind of quick side note, the Festival of the Lost Event is coming to a close. So if you guys haven't got any of the masks or you are kicking around with some rare masks, then I do recommend trying to sort that out soon because the event ends on the 9th of November. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.